It seems really weird to go to the extreme of bringing Sayoko back in. We're not using that other boat that was in the boathouse? What the hell, man? To bring Sayoko. This is our first time on a boat together, huh? I'll, I'll talk about it. I suppose it is. Is it? How'd you get so good at rowing? We we're, were on the captain's Sometimes boat. Sometimes I'll row when I go fishing with Bottom Rex. It'll be dawn soon. How are you holding up? Has it really been that long of a night? It's been a busy day. But I'm all right. What about you? Oh, I'm used to all-nighters. I'm tougher than I look, you know. Should have brought your hat, though. Where's Ryan's grave? That way. Let's hurry. Like, the extreme of trying to erase Sayoko's daughter's memory to implant it... Uh, Sayoko into Ashley... Seems like a bit much compared to, like, maybe just trying to do what happened to Ryan. Although, like, arguably Ryan might be, like, trapped. Basically trapped in... In the data, right? But uh, if that's the case, maybe he would then want to get out of his trapment before trying to deal with the Sayoko thing. I don't know. Just, he, it seems like he went to a really big extreme. But I guess also his memories are that of a child, if you think about it, right? He died 15 years ago as a child and reprogrammed himself to look like an adult. I don't know. I think that's the case, right? Yo, is there any origami here? Oh, look, the light. It's beautiful. When's Matthew going to show up? Oh, of course the camera's there. Obviously, is this that was place? the security camera that they saw, it's so the it makes Spring. sense, but... Not many people know about it. According to Dan, it's the source of Lake Julia. It all comes from here? Yep. The whole lake wells out from this one point. It's also responsible for keeping it clean. Lake Juliet's been polluted a number of times, but the spring always restores its waters. So, even the current pollution will be cleaned up soon? As long as the spring holds out. Thank God, we don't that have to worry about that. That why Judd chose to put Ryan's grave here. The spring restores it all. I don't know, that sounds kind of silly. It just seems like a cool spot. Like, honestly, it's a very striking image, except for the... the pole with a camera on it. That's a little... Pretty. What a beautiful spring. This is the source of Lake Juliet. I'm honestly pretty surprised that the, uh... weird rainbow rock was never important. Unless if they throw it at us... one last time, but... at this point, this... this feels like... the end? Like, this is basically our, like beach moonlight situation with D, but instead it's Ryan. Look at us booking it to that grave. Oh, look, the, uh, the kaleidoscope. This is Ryan's grave. Yeah, dude, it was like 12. So your mom brought you here 13 years ago. Born an angel, you make what? What? I didn't read that all. I didn't expect it to actually I have think something. This will be the last time I come here, Ryan. Judd left his most precious possession with you. So I'll leave mine here, too. Born an angel, you make I the remember whole, what she said. Me whole. Gone too she soon said Judd to left his most hollow. precious possession here. Leave me hollow. Let's take a look around. I guess now's my chance to read it. There's an inscription on the gravestone. Ryan Fitzgerald, 1980 to 1992. Ryan was only 12 when he died. I've seen this before. Yeah. 
But it was fake. Looking through this always made Sayoko miss Japan. Dad. What is it? Check it out. Ryan's mom gave him this kaleidoscope. He told me when we were talking at the cottage, he said he had to undergo treatments as a kid. That's when he would give it to mom for safekeeping. Undergoing treatment must have been what Judd called erasing his memories. And because of that, Ryan died. Mom must have come here to return it. It might have been cheaper to just That's give him a lobotomy, honestly. That's why she was here 13 honestly. years ago. There's a cherry blossom design at the top of the gravestone. Wait a minute, are we having to solve a What's puzzle? This? Think about it. Stone tiles engraved with letters are lined up on the gravestone. What's this say? How is that the last thing you look at? Born an angel, you make me whole. Gone too soon, you leave me hollow. Judd dedicated this message to his son. Huh? What's up? It looks like there's some sort of trick to this gravestone. Are the stone tiles some sort of key? Like, I get it that it's a puzzle, a but it's weird to say. This gravestone's got a trick to it. Alright, well, we probably want to pick that up. Ah. Ah, this cherry blossom design was on the grave, too. In case you didn't realize it. Um... Huh. Like, the design changes when we rotate it. There we go. Uh, well... It's all kind of like something that looks like a basic... LOVE! <laughs> Is it- does it say love? Did I do it? <gasps> oh! This pattern makes a word! I don't care about the word. Rotate it this way. I want to look at the thing. Whoa. Pretty cool. Starting to think that maybe there's a little bit more I need to figure out. Maybe if I keep rotating it. Hmm. It's hoping for a little bit more to happen. And the back looks a little weird. I would assume it has to do with the fact that this is like tiled. There are stones, tiles engraved with uh, letters. Oh, I can move them. <gasps> oh. oh, I knew there was some mechanism to it. Dad's the one that said there was a trick to it. Um, I mean, love. Born an angel. There's like a thousand O's. Would I press all of the O's? Not to mention there's a plenty of E's. I feel like there has to be like more. Is it just all the O's and L's and V's and E's? And is that what I'm gonna be doing? Nope. Huh? Four of them. The tile resets after four presses, so I have to be careful. Hmm? There must be a keyword, so I probably have to do it like. Technically speaking. I'm trying to think about it for a minute. Maybe just write it out. Like, does it matter if I just write out love and call it a day? Is that good enough? I guess so. I might have overthought it. So I, I wonder if other L's and E's would have worked. Dad, check it out. What a puzzle if you can just do that. There's a picture inside. Look at his smile. He looks so happy. I never would have guessed. Judd stole Sayoko's memories, and yet... 
What he cherished the most was the memory of his child. Dad? Oh no, Dad's a computer now. Hello, Ashley. Ryan! In case it wasn't obvious that he was digital. Do you still remember <laughs> Gotta glitch me? out a little bit. Of course I do. When you and I met in the Another Room, I attempted to delete the memory data you have of me. Yep, happened like a couple minutes ago, dude. But it seems I never gained full access to your hippocampus. What did you do to my dad? I have suspended his consciousness. It is only temporary. He will not perish. He is not required for our current discourse. I think I finally understand, Ryan. You used the Another through security cameras. Yep. It's how you made me see you. That's correct. What you see right now is only in your mind. This image is temporarily ingrained in your memory. I am currently manipulating your perception. You took advantage of Sophia in the same way. But I'm not like her. I won't let you do whatever you want. I mean, you kind of almost did. Sayoko said the same thing to Judd. Your life's work is to complete the another. I will not allow you to squander your brilliance. Especially for something as foolish as family. I forbid it! Get back to work this instant! That's an order! So angry. Another is more than your precious research. I will not allow myself to be used. Your eyes look so much like Sayoko's did back then. Ashley, why are you here? I don't understand. I thought coming here would help me figure everything out. What do you mean by everything? My mom came to this island 13 years ago. I thought if I could remember that moment, it would all fall into place. I would understand why she came to Lake Juliet. Why the memory of my mother knew about you. Why you appeared to me. And tried to revive her. I see. I want to know. I want to know the truth about you. A drive for knowledge. I have always felt that too. Why was I born? What is my purpose? What Where does that highway go to? About? I've never encountered someone like you. you shut up, Ryan. Someone who wished to know me. Have you, like, I talked understand. to other people? I will tell you the truth. Here lies Ryan Fitzgerald. And because he existed, I now exist. Judd's son, the another's first ever test subject. Ryan lost his mother at a young age. This left a deep wound on his heart. He closed himself off, no longer allowing himself to feel. Judd wanted to heal that wound, thereby restoring his son's emotions. He attempted to do this with the another, which was still just a prototype at the time. However, the experiment failed. Ryan was left paralyzed and later died. Okay, it wasn't just an instant death thing. Kind of blows. Ryan's memories were extracted during that experiment. They were recorded to liquid memory and stored in a tank in JC Valley's basement storage. And that tank containing liquid memory is where I was born. The first human to notice was your mother. There's no mistaking. 
The stored memory data is changing. The liquid memory is producing new episodic recollections on its own? I don't know how it happened. Sayoko referred to me as a conscious life form born from Ryan's memory data. Born from memory data? The first thing I remember is the feeling of swimming through a sea of memories. The human memory is truly a fascinating thing. It starts with sense, and then there is information. And beyond that, knowledge. Each memory has a different emotion. Longing, loneliness, fear, regret, happiness. I am proof that Ryan was alive. I read his memory and I learned, and I slowly grew. My mom never told Judd about you? She reported her findings, but Judd quickly dismissed them. He said that self-propagation of memory data is impossible. He was exactly the person Ryan's memory made him out to be. A genius scientist willing to do anything to further his research even sacrifice his own family. Self-righteous, refusing to hear anyone else's opinion. Unlike Sayoko, he never tried to understand me. Once she left, Judd would glance at the tank every so often. And then one day, he started talking to it. He said, I'll find a way to revive you, Ryan. He continued developing the Another alone. He also started a new experiment. An experiment to overwrite memories using the Another. Judd began writing Ryan's memory data onto other subjects. It was his attempt to revive his son. Carrying out these experiments required him to create many copies of Ryan's data. He extracted his test subjects' memories and accumulated them all into liquid memory. Was his experiment successful? What do you it think, was Ashley? Not. It was impossible to complete the another without Sayoko. The ability to overwrite memory never came to fruition. He abandoned its development and sealed up the lab housing the another. And then, six years ago, a terrible storm tore through Lake Juliet. J.C. Valley lost power and the building was destroyed. The tank storing liquid memory were damaged. They leaked into the lake. This was liquid memory that contained not only Ryan's memories, but many others. It became one with the water. So in a way, it felt like this lake had become my brain. Over time, I was able to access JC Valley's network. This, in turn, allowed me access to all sorts of information. That's when I learned of Sayoko's murder. I learned a lot from Judd's computer, including that it was Bill who killed Sayoko, and that whoever he was working for was connected to Judd. What? How could you? Why did you murder Sayoko? From the very start, the Another Project was conducted in secret. Sayoko and I were hand-picked by the lab's head to carry the project forward. You were just a researcher, a useful tool. We started making... real progress. But then Sayoko betrayed us. You two stole our research, hid it in your home. So I gave Sayoko one more chance that night. I told her to return the research and return to the fold. I see. So if Mom knew all this, 
Is that why she tried to protect the another? Ashley, it wasn't until I learned of Sayoko's death that I finally understood. The sorts of moments that can produce such strong emotions. I had never felt more. And yet, at that moment, all I felt was sadness. And all I wanted was to ask Judd, why did Sayoko have to die? Did you ever meet Judd? I did. He was in the process of developing the remote another at the time. I infiltrated the system to gain access to him. What are you? Judd looked both surprised and confused when I appeared before him. He reached out to see if I was real, but he couldn't touch me. So he simply stared at me for a long while. And then I asked him, Why did Sayoko have to die? He remained silent. He simply looked at me with an expression I couldn't interpret. So I asked him once more, Why did Sayoko, the only person who knew me, have to die? He didn't answer my question. Instead, he muttered my name. Ryan. At last, he understood the nature of my existence. He looked at me with eyes that had grown old, and he trembled. What emotion do you suppose he was expressing? Disgust or something weird. Chad died, right? After learning about you? Yes. Both Sayoko and Judd were gone. Did you kill him so or did no he like die like you saw a ghost kind of thing? Existence. And yet, I continued to exist in this lake. That sounds so lonely. All this time, my mind was occupied with a single thought. Why do I exist? But I couldn't find an answer. After a while, I grew interested in the another left behind by Sayoko and Judd. I wanted to complete it. I was the one Bill sent the another's source code to. No way. Using that data, I was able to complete the prototype another. But why? It was simply a task to prove I exist. I didn't have a specific goal beyond that. Dr. Robbins came to JC Valley. Ryan started really investigating didn't. things I, no I have had to looked into let before. Come here. Do you know why he came here? Did he tell you? I didn't know at first, but I do now. Why did Richard? God, why? Why did they bring this up again? Sayoko's so true to, to find Michael. I guess it would be the truth, probably. Without telling Dad, he came here to find out why and what she was doing here, maybe? He didn't want to complete the another. Dad came here to... No. Matthew's... He didn't care about this. Uh, I don't think he really came here specifically for the pollution, either. I guess this one I'm not really as sure about. It seemed like he just had this. I, I would probably just say this one. The problem is, this is a bit of a vaguer answer. I need to find out why she was here. Because if I do, I think it will reveal the truth behind her death. I, I suppose if you remembered the conversation from many to know hours why ago, my mom too. Came here. Ryan, we had no idea. We didn't know her memory data was inside her pendant. I see. But how did you know? How did you know about the pendant? He felt it? I don't know. I was monitoring Rex's computer. He kept a journal on it. He wrote about hiring your father. He wrote, Should I tell Richard about Sayoko's pendant? Why would he write it like that? When Dr. Robbins came to JC Valley, 
he was still seeking the truth of what happened to Sayoko. He found the data that Bill had sent. That's when he started piecing together the secrets around the Another and the secret lab. He began looking into the lake pollution, too. He was close to figuring out that the pollution was liquid memory. It was around then I started to feel cornered. After all, the substance polluting the lake is me. I don't have much time left. I've come to understand this. If the lake is purified, cleansing itself of the liquid memory, I will disappear. In other words, I will die. Oh no. That's when Dr. Robbins invited you here. When you arrived at the campsite, you were wearing Sayoko's pendant. I wanted to see her. Just one last time. That pendant contains memories of Sayoko. And I'm sure they remember me. Well, contained. We flushed that down the toilet. That's why I tried to use the another and you. Sayoko's daughter. I wanted to revive her. But the RAS was her way of preventing that. She showed me the error of my ways. Using By the another to prove my, my existence was wrong. I know that now. That's it. That's everything. I wanted you to know. This is my truth. I mean, he could have appeared to other people whenever. Um, Ryan? What's happening to you? Wait, are you trying to erase my memories of you? You... You... Will forget me. No, Ryan! That's... Ryan, look! Look at this! Remember you. It's a message from my mom. When you tried to write my mom's memories onto me, she told me something. She said a person can live forever as long as someone remembers them. Sayoko. Thank you, Ryan. Because you remember her, my mom lives on. And thanks to that, I got to see her. He still tried to erase your whole personality. You remember me. <laughs> Even if I disappear. Yes. I won't forget the person mom discovered. I'll remember you forever. Please. Please. Show me the wrath again. <sighs> Thank you, Sayoko. I can finally be at peace. <gasps> like, I understand the sentiment, but I find it difficult to really sympathize. Ashley? Dad, Ryan disappeared. He touched the RAS and... Now he's gone. What? He told me about Mom. And why he appeared to me.
What did he say? Tell me everything. You know, I would, but I kind of forgot about it. After that, Dad and I took the boat back to J.C. Valley. He took me to his lab and... I took a nap on his cot. He and Rex had a long conversation. Dad was with me when I woke up. He told me, it's time to go home. We didn't talk much on the walk back to the cottage. We didn't need to tell each other what we were thinking. We just knew. That was a long day. Right? That's what you guys were thinking. We were thinking about mom. Oh, well. Guess that's nicer. Honestly, you two. I had a funny feeling after our phone call yesterday. I got worried, so I came to make sure everything was all right. Didn't expect you guys to go on a wacky adventure again. Only to find you two were out all night? <laughs> oh, that's the problem? Uh, well, it's just that, um, so much happened, and... For real, Jessica. It was a lot. Where'd you get that off? Well, go on. It's all my fault. I got Ashley mixed up in a big mess. She also had like a Don't weird B plot to that took up most of the time. It was my idea to go to that island. Oh. Dad kept me safe, Jessica. And it's all thanks to Ashley that we learned about Sayoko. At least you two are getting along. Huh? Aren't you glad you agreed to the trip? Yeah. Actually, I have so much to tell you, Jessica. I can't wait to hear it all. When does the bus home arrive? We still have a little time. I'm gonna go say bye to everyone. Oh, one more thing. Can you return the key card to the guest house? I've already checked this out. Sure thing. I see you bought quite a few souvenirs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yeah. They had a lot of cool stuff. Did I buy too much? Nah, it's all right to splurge sometimes. Just, um, ask first next time. Will do. Dad, check this out. That yeah. looks familiar. Remember the keychain with the gate key to the Edward Mansion? That takes me back. This used to be the only kind of thing the guest house sold. Looks like they've expanded their options. What do you think of the mascots? I think they're pretty charming, actually. Then you get one, too. We can match. That's a good idea. I'll pick one up. We actually didn't have to buy anything in the guest house, did we? 